Just gonna call him back, please. I wanna get this dolphin thing. I don't know what it is. This, this Pokemon is new to me. Finizen. Okay. Let's try not to kill it, so let's snarl. Okay, good. It's special attack fell. Using focus energy to raise... No, it's just getting pumped. Okay. Pokeball. I feel like it's got a fair bit more health though as a thing, so maybe... No. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. Still focusing its energy? Nope. Failed. Surely this is a water type, right? Caught it. Nice. We're getting there. Yeah, it's a water type. So many Pokemon. So many. Did want to check out whatever the glowing thing is there. Eh. Get out of the deep. East Province Area Area One. Also Smart Strike. What are you? I'll battle you, but what are you? Oh, you're one of those. Okay. But I think pro the evolution and also ter terrestrialized, so... I might want to switch Pokemon. What type is this? Like, actually, what type is that? I... Don't... Know. Steel? No. Fairy? Maybe. Dragon? Perhaps. I don't know. I'll... I have no idea. Rock? M possibly? Although I th feel like I've already seen rock and I don't think it was this. Very Whiskash. Oh, so there's islands over there. I don't know how to get over there right now, but we'll get there. I don't think I can just walk across, so... Defense fell. There's a lot of slowdown here right now. Uh, I'm gonna try a... Mm, actually, I could try Thrash, because that's just a... a normal type. It didn't do a ton. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it's still doing Thrash, apparently. That's okay with me. Used Haze. Which is probably gonna lower accuracy? Or not? Oh, stat changes were limited. Okay, well that's fine. Still doing Thrash, because that's how it goes. And now we're confused because of, uh... What's it called? Fatigue. Haze again. I'm gonna turn around and see if it runs faster. It is... a little bit faster, I think? If I zoom in on the Pokemon, it's definitely not faster. <laughs> gonna try Thrash again, because we just need to take out its Terra type, so... And then we can catch it. Whiskash is confused. Use Thrash, nice. Only problem is it's probably gonna keep using Thrash, isn't it? Maybe? Also, the frames. What, what a wonderful thing. Oh, there they go again. Please don't do it. Hurt yourself. <laughs> no, please. Please, please no, please. I shouldn't have left it up to fate. fate. It's fine. I'll accept the experience. And we've already got the... ...preform of it. We don't need whatever type that was. I don't think, so. 2600 LP for that. Curly is evolving. Very nice. Gardevoir. Classic. Psychic Fairy. Just as a reminder <laughs> to myself. I'm going to forget though. Maybe. Wants to learn Dazzling Gleam. It's a fairy move. 
Uh, AG power, 100 accuracy. That seems pretty good. Recommendation. Remove disarming voice. Let's do that. Gardevoir is definitely going to be good if we keep... Keep Gardevoir around. Is that a Pokemon that I've seen before? No, it's just, yeah, it is. Cool, it's just a thing. Magikarp flailing around. Unable to do anything. Just want to check out this beach over here quickly. Basically, it's just a little bit of this area, just a quick run through. There's a trainer. There's another trainer. There's some other things. Some Tauros. Just gonna run from that. Couldn't run. Um, I'm just gonna run again. Got away safely, thank you. Now it's probably a good idea to battle like that instead. Antidote. Getting some good XP right now. <laughs> Running out of health though. Slowly, but surely. Doesn't seem like there's a ton here, but I do... It is going to take a little bit, so... Just a little bit. Get a revive. More Tauros. There's so many. Also, oh, that didn't work. Okay, that's fine. Just going to grab these. Snarl TM. Pearl String, which I think is just for selling. Get him. Got the type advantage for this. And we reached level 36, which I thought would be the level that it would evolve at, but I guess not. Not yet, anyway. Maybe a level or two. More. We're getting very close. It seems very steep. It's raining. Apparently. But I think we have cleared this ramp area, so that's pretty good. I think I'll just go back. I'll come back here later on. For, for, but for now, I'm just going to head back, so. Found an air cutter, apparently. Getting some more levels, I believe. Timer ball. Uh, more effective and didn't see the rest. I want to find out about that, though. Uh, timer ball. More effective at catching Pokemon the more turns that are taken in battle, so it's like the opposite of a quick ball. It could be good later in a fight. Against something, so. Which, that sounds good to me, so. I'm gonna keep that around. Until something very good, probably. Don't wanna waste it. Just gonna also heal. To be a waiter. Is to wait. I'll wait for the perfect moment to take care of you. Okay. Well, I'm going to take care of you now. Saw the waiter. Riolu. Very cool. Now, I believe it's fighting type, but I don't know what's effective against that, so I'm just going to use my stab move. Psychic fighting? Maybe? I don't know. Well, it's gone now, so it's fine. No, now wait just a moment. No, you wait a moment. <laughs> You're gonna wait a long time now before you ever win again. <laughs> Sunflora. What about Sunflora? Sunflora flood the flora f uh, faith dome in the in formation. Sunflora flood the floral f faith uh, fl uh, flum dome in form formation. Tongue twisters, not my thing, but could be. Sunflora flood the floral faith fiefdom information. I made up my own own tongue twi twister. I can't say tongue twister. That's a tongue twister. Felix the student. That's a good sign. If I can't say tongue twister, then I'm in trouble. 
for the rest of every other tongue twister. Let's just get rid of this thing. We have a super effective move, so that's going to work out really well. And that's the end of the fight. Kind of glad it's just one Pokemon. Sunflower flood the floof. Duh, no, I messed up. Don't worry, I messed up. Every word, on every word. Oh, hello, Pokemon. Rookity's unnerved. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. Got away safely. Have to rec recover my Pokemon after that trauma. Can we also check up here because I didn't check this path. Well, I can definitely get rid of these ones. Which would be good. It seems like that's everything up here, actually, so... Let's head back down and go to the city, because we're probably about ready for that. Except there's also... I also want to do the, the terror raid battle that I skipped past earlier. Also, Gyarados. I mean, I've already got a Magic Cup, I'm pretty sure, but a Gyarados? Actually, I think I got a Magic Cup with a terror type. So yeah, the, I, I could probably ignore this, but also I kind of want to catch it just for the Pokedex for the moment. I'll evolve my Magic Cup at some point. Because I think I do want to have that on my team. Scary face. I think I'm going to do a dive ball on or in water. Although a net ball is just just more effective when catching water type Pokemon, so I'm going to do that instead. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is Water Dragon, right? Game, please correct me if I'm wrong. Please, please, game. No, it's Water Flying. Interesting. But I think it can learn Dragon type moves, which is good. Very nice. The game really does not like this area. So I'm just going to move on. I think there's just too many areas for Pokemon to spawn in this area. There's also another trainer over here that I forgot about. My Pokemon! Are the best ones you'll ever see. My Pokemon and your Pokemon. What's so different about them? I don't know. Monica the student. There's also Slowbro sleeping in the background. How do I want to do this? Just bite, I guess. Nice. Flinched and couldn't move. I'm glad I haven't had to worry about running out of power points so far. It doesn't really hasn't dragged on in any areas. Everything's different. True, I guess. I think we're good with that, probably. I'm just skipping over a few things. Ah, get out of the water. Get out of the water. It's fine. So this is ground type. So let's send in... Whiskash, probably. Just gonna auto-heal quickly. Guess I don't need to do it, but... No, I'll skip it. It's probably best. Like that. I don't wanna. Same. I don't wanna do my job. No. Well, that's a shame for you, isn't it? Christian, the office worker. It's a keys. It's 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 just keys. My honest reaction. It's keys. Clef key. Let's use muddy water. Well, that works, so. Wow, you meanie head. Okay. 
Goodbye. Good luck to you. Now, is anything suspicious on this bridge by any chance? I can hear it. Something suspicious on this bridge? But where something suspicious on this bridge? I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard something, at least. I think there's more on this side, though. Right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm suspicious of bridges now. That is, that is how life has gone. Suspicious, suspicious bridges. Also, slow down. Guess there isn't. Okay. Anyway, let's register this Pokemon Center. Let's do it. I think the city also has a gym, so we'll get to that. Uh, but there was something else I wanted to do, and I can't remember what it was exactly. Been having some nice battles. Five trainers out of six. Oh my goodness. So close. Only to fail. Well, that's a shame. What else was I trying to do? What else was there? I'm gonna move the camera around and so I get, get sick. Uh, I don't exactly remember. Somehow. My mind has gone blank. Guess there's stuff in the Naranja Academy, so I think that might have been, might have been something to do with what I was going to do, but I feel like there's something else. I can't remember. It's very sad. I wish I had a better memory. Maybe one day. Just, just one day. And then it's all downhill from there. I also feel like there should be a uh, thing around here. But I don't know if there will be. I don't know anything. Just checking all the seeds. The, the Gimme Ghoul have ruined me. They could be anywhere. It's fine. Let's actually go to a different floor. Looks like there's some new stuff, actually. Oh, that's what it was. It was the Pokemon. Because I had, I had the, I have over 100 in my Pokedex now. That's what it was. Now I remember. I remembered. Uh, my memory. This is the day that I have my memory. Ah, hello. Hello, Jeremy. I see you've already re registered 100 species of Pokemon to your Pokedex for me. And nobody else has? That's surprising. Wow, little Pokemon, big Pokemon, what? You even have data on Pokemon of this specific size. So much data, so much to analyze. Ah, sorry about that, I got a little excited there. My Pokemon research is moving forward at a great pace thanks to your efforts. Here, take these, consider it my way of saying thanks. 20 Ultra Balls. You're a natural at this Pokemon catching thing, aren't you, Jeremy? For your next goal, let's aim for 200 species. Well, that's not happening for any time, anytime soon. I know that's a tall order, but keep tossing those Pokeballs and don't give up. Okay. Next goal is set. It's still a banger. Welcome to the home economics classroom. I consider this to be my very own castle of sorts. Master Jeremy from class 1A. Rumors of your activities have uh, always seemed to be bo bombarding me from all sides. Uh, my activities? Indeed, people from all over have been talking about how strong of a battler you are and the amazing Pokemon you take along with you. I mean, they're not that crazy. You are quite the object of everyone's interest. Though I imagine that may be a bother for you. The home economics classroom is something of a place of rest for the academy students, you see. Here they delight in sharing the latest gossip and the like while enjoying a light snack. 
You come up quite often in those talks recently, Master Jeremy. So much so that I find myself intrigued. If it is not a burden for you, I would very much enjoy having you come see me again sometime. We be we bo we're bonding. This is this is a wholesome moment. Looks like it's just these two other rooms left. There's two people in there, and the one in the director's office. I should probably, I should probably talk to the director since uh, we uh, went to team one of the team star for the st team star bases. Oh, why hello, Master Jeremy. How is your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope. Yeah, it's been great. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course of criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you, and you shall do so splendidly. I like that idea for this game. It, it really helps, like, it, it feels makes it feel a lot more like the anime. By, like, letting you just do your own thing, basically. In a way. Speaking of such pursuits, there has been something on my mind of late. If I could ask for your expertise on the matter, I'd be most grateful. You see, I recently heard of a word that whose meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does ch ch chugi mean? Ch 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 I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Uh, well, it's really chewy gumball. Ah, <laughs> uh, very chewy, 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 chewy gumball. So it is some sort of confection that children are partially partial to recently. I don't know. I shall have to try one of these chugis for myself sometime. The words used to used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. Yeah, because they're weird. <laughs> I mean, that one's weird. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel that much closer to my students. And that's the whole point of learning words, is it's not about learning languages, it's about learning <laughs> words and their meaning. And expanding your vocabulary. I am most grateful to you for your help on that front. Became slightly closer with, with director Clavel. Hey, have you heard of this guy named Clive? He's pretty cool. Anyway, see you, man. Let's go to the staff room. I think the staff room was probably somewhere it wanted me to talk to people earlier in the game. Possibly, since there were a lot of people in here. And there still are a lot of people in here, so... Yo, uh, yes, Jeremy from Class 1A. The way you conduct yourself in my class and the answers you give to my questions. I admit they pique my interest. You are quite the interesting pupil, I must say. Tell me, Jeremy, given a choice, which do you prefer? Things of old or things that are new? Why can't I pick b both? I like both. But I do like new stuff. It contrasts with the old stuff. You would answer new stuff to me, your history teacher. Huh, you really are a curious one. Ah, I failed the question. I didn't realize this was a test. I didn't study for this. Yes, this is, this one may indeed be of of good use to me someday. Ah, you can disregard that. I was simply thinking out loud. I enjoyed our little conversation today. You have my thanks, Jeremy. More bonding occurred. <laughs> oh my, if it isn't Jeremy, hello there. Do you perhaps have a question about class? Uh, all good, no questions. I'm good. Ha ha ha, I'm glad to hear it. Then perhaps you won't mind a little quiz. I didn't study for this, I didn't study for this. Flying type Pokemon are weak to rock type moves. Interesting, 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 interesting. I'm learning for the test. Just let me take some notes quickly. When a rock type move hits a flying type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? It's double multiplied by a hundred. It's doubled. Uh, yes, that's right. The correct answer is that the move's damage is doubled. 
Miss Time, Miss Time. Oh my, I see one of my more energetic students is here to help, here to see me. You'll have to await your turn, dear. There is only one of me, after all. Um, Miss Time, is it true that you are a gym leader? That is indeed true. I am quite the strong battler, you know. Wow, that's so cool. Why'd you quit? So you want to know, do you? I might be persuaded to tell you if you wait your turn. Okay, I can wait my turn. I sure can. He'll never know. It's so funny. I've been doing this joke for years. He'll never find out. Just don't tell him. I'm sorry for cutting our conversation short, Jeremy. But I seem to be in high demand today. Feel free to come see me anytime if you have questions for me. You became slightly close with me time because she shared the ongoing joke with you. Anyway, I think that's probably everything they wanted me to do here, probably, maybe? Yeah, that looks looks pretty good. Uh, but I guess I should also possibly... Where's... I'm lost, hang on. I'm lost on the menu. On the map. I could also, um, do a lesson because we haven't done that for a bit. And I want to get on top of that to try and clear those, clear those out. Before more arrive. <laughs> Languages. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Okay. I'll try. And try. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope. Gemma Pell, Salvatore. My name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup. That is. Thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm so... Uh, I can't continue this, I'm sorry. Hirux or... Hiru. Uh, I don't know. Or happy. For this chance to re-experience my younger days with you all. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So just imagine I'm here to save you. From spooky new languages. Haha, <laughs> funny no? That's right, my class will teach you about various languages from different regions. You may say good morning or hello as a greeting, but people from elsewhere may say bonjour or salut. I've heard there's even a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says hello, hello, holla, ciao and bonjour. There are so many regions out there in the wo our world, and each can have their own unique languages. Gracias, merci. I don't even know what that one. <laughs> Arigato, danke. These are these all have the same meaning. Can you guess what it is? Uh, thank you. Whoa. Jeremy, was it? Bravo! That's correct, and speaking up is important in language learning too. Gracias, mercy, I don't know. These words all mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those. Despite meaning the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? And now, Arapos of nothing. Let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you can't speak it very well. I'm sure your willingness to try it will make the people you meet trust Herox. Very happy. Trust Herox. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. Okay, that seems like interesting advice, but it, it's an interesting lesson. I will, I will take this lesson and treasure it, probably, on somewhere. I'll, I'll put it in the shed with the rest of the stuff. Oh, there's that pesky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. Well, adios. Matani. A la pot... <laughs> Prochain. I don't know. See you later, everyone. 
I mean, I know it's probably a good idea to learn more languages like this, but also the the sprinkling in of different language words that I don't know how to pronounce is probably a bad idea. <laughs> Something could go very wrong. We've got languages too. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that just yet. Let me do art. With Mr. Hassel. No, no, Mr. Hassel's supposed to be teaching the, the language class. <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. Greetings, I am Hassel. Ha has Hazel? Hazel? I don't know. I will be teaching this art class. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Now, let me be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learned in this class once you graduate. After all, you don't ev need even a basic understanding of artwork. Much less a, less a refund. Find <laughs> it's fine. Much less a refined appreciation for, of beauty for most exams or jobs. So, is my class a waste of time for you? Then, I think not. At least, I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty anyway? What makes something beautiful? Ah, uh, the eye of the beholder. Interesting. Thank you, Jeremy. Please leave. <laughs> oh, I don't, didn't, don't mean to suggest there is a correct answer to my query. The important thing is, you all take the time to think about it, and realize that there is a wrong answer to this question. Also, look, I did the pneumonia's here. I didn't, didn't notice that, but cool. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower blooming on the side of, of the road, for example. Question, why the sky is a different shade of blue than the ocean, or why the leaves change color. Ponder the windmills of artisan and how they move. Contempt, contemplate the chilling bite of the waters of Cascarafa. I'm sure you'll find that every little detail of your lives will seem more vivid, more impactful, if you just take a moment to stop and think. Because you don't think. And I am certain that if you stop and truly appreciate the little beauties of this world, it will help you pull through the days where your studies have you exhausted, or when work has dampened your spirits. Ah, do pardon me for waxing philosophical. I don't know how that's a... That's a... That, that, I feel like that's used wrong. It's fine. You don't need to understand all of that now. To put it simply, it is true that one doesn't need to need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving more, much more enjoyable. It is my hope that this class will e add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time we will try a more hands-on approach to appreciating beauty. I mean, that's also a pretty good lesson to have, so... You do need to slow down sometimes. Appreciate the beauty. I mean, I was not slowing down, but I was still appreciating the be beauty of the beach earlier, so... But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.